I'm not sure if I actually put any detail into this or any information at all. So my idea of um, running a corporation is a lot different than a way they do it now. I'm, <clears throat> big thing. Uh, heart. Uh, creativity, pushing the limits, trying to get more, do more, not trying to do the absolute bare minimum uh, to get the maximum out of from everybody, your customers, employees, and infrastructure, and, and you're doing the absolute bare fucking minimum, and you're trying to pass laws to do less, and you're trying to prevent minimum wage to go up in any 25 fucking years. Just pay fair fucking wage. Goddamn pieces of shit. Um, I am a god. That's what their frame of thinking is. And you're peasants. You owe me because I let you live in this country. And I let you buy from me and you get to work for me. And I will pay you the least amount of shit as I possibly can because you're not worth it. Oh, God. Why do people look up to the most arrogant pieces of shit on the planet? <clears throat> PayPal guy, all the rest, um, Elon Musk, Donald Trump, I, I, these are seriously narcissistic, godlike uh, egos. <laughs> they think they're fucking God. They eat, breathe, sleep, everything else, but they think they're God. I, it mm, does not make any damn sense. You haven't been around for a billion years, you don't know shit. Shut the fuck up. Like everybody else, you're just Thumbing through the dark. Um, so anyway, I was trying to say uh, business-wise. So I think it'd be having after if 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 we actually can figure out how to get through this situation, we need to number one stop things like misinformation being anything at all, any kind of misinformation. If you don't have facts to prove it, you cannot put that out. You can't prove it. You have to do a retraction. If you I, if you think you prove it and it's a not, you have to say, "I'm sorry, we made a mistake." Not double down and say, "No, this is true. It doesn't matter what anybody else says." I I cannot believe communist reporting is working in the United States. It's fucking working. It's re it's really working. Look at Donald Trump. Oh my god. This is terrifying. All right. If we manage to get through it, it's a big fucking if at this point. If we manage to get through this, this is what I would like to see. <laughs> they make a big difference. Number 1, take care of your customers. I think I've already talked a little bit about this, but number one, take care of your customers. That is the foundation of a good business is you take care of your customers. You give your, you give your customers what you, what they want at the best you can. I mean, you have to make a profit. You have to pay for your customer or your employees and everything else. And it has to be within reason. I, that is the number one job of a owner of a corporation instead of telling us what we want. Number two, taking care of your employees, not just paying them the minimum as possibly get away with and trying to squeeze out every cent out of them in every way possible. Oh, no benefits, just under full time. So you get no benefits, no retirement, no 401k, no benefits. Where he said benefits like twice. Um, let's just screw everybody over, and you know, just that's that's their motto is screw everybody over. If it destroys everything, oh well, I made my money. I'm living in a big fancy house. <laughs> what the fuck does that make sense? How does that make so if you got employees and you're actually, you know, a really big company, like you are at 500 million a year, that's pretty damn big. Expand. 
your employees need stuff. They need insurance, dental, vision, health. Just actually provide it for them and actually give it to them at a little bit of a discount and make profit from that, plus give them what they want and need. Housing, car loans, car insurance, house insurance, all of that. Finance it all, but give them a little bit of a discount. It's cheaper than everybody else. Give them good coverage, cover everything you need to, and make a profit. Actually, profit off of helping. Profit off of taking care of your fucking employees. And then expand on that and help other people with freaking same thing and make profit off of it. If they need a house, figure out how to build houses and expand on your fucking company. All it is is fucking helping people and making money at the fucking same time. It's not rocket science. Some of it can be rocket science and actually still be helping people, but still. You literally can help people and make more fucking money. It just makes fucking sense. That's all it is. Common fucking sense. They don't have it. If you buy something as junk, you don't buy it again. If they buy something as junk, they don't buy it again. But they assume we will buy junk every single solitary time from them. Anyway. Third thing. Infrastructure. <laughs> we, we, have you ever been into a place and they got a register that's like 30 years old and it actually costs more to keep it running than to buy a new one and just update the motherfucker? I mean, that's like a common thing because they just don't feel like it because it would cost a lot of money to replace all of them, but it, it costs more to keep them running. So you're actually spending more money than if you just replaced them update on a regular basis uh save money through energy efficiency and renewable resources stop saying there's nothing wrong with the uh, environment global warming is a thing it's going to get a lot worse if we survive that long <laughs> that might not be a thing um That's not all on the infrastructure. Uh, renewable resources, I mean, pretty much, pretty much just, you know, upkeep is a basic necessity. It's not an if or anything else. I mean, if you're going to upkeep on anything and it's big enough, why don't you like, oh, I don't know, buy whatever it actually needs, like the factory that it uses or uh, parts it needs. <sighs> okay, beginning, middle, ending. Sorry. Um. So, like, if you need wood, buy a lumber yard and everything else. I mean, you're literally, if you're working with 100, 500 million a year, you can do that and expand. Growing is good. Then work on renewable resources and energy efficiency and all of that. Also, uh, well, I mean, basically this is uh, Rockefeller, Rockefeller style. If you're building houses, you buy the lumber and everything and you make it all cheaper and better. You can get the best out of it. That's just, that is good business. Not making it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and then screwing your over your customers' employees. That's not good business. That really shit. That's fucking communism and China bullshit. <laughs> I mean, the good business is figuring out how to make more money and make it cost less. Wow. Not screwing over your customers' employees and infrastructure. Make it all grow. That's good fucking business. Oh, my God. Rockefeller was the first billionaire. He had it right. You don't, you got the fucking plan right fucking there. We've got the plan for most of the fucking decades through the United States of America. That's why we grew. Then it started slowing down and they started doing things stupid like uh, just not updating shit, not trying to push the limits, just sitting here making something last longer. And they kept doing that over and over again to the point where Toyota over overcame our 
production and our capability on vehicles in the 80s. 80, 80s vehicles sucked. <sighs> Too good to just ride over, ride over us. Um, because he was listening to his employees and upgrading yearly. <laughs> That's literally all you gotta fucking do is listen to your fucking employees. They have they do that day and day and out that day every day. No, 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 no. You don't know anything because you're just a peasant. You don't know anything. Stop trying to say stuff. You, you don't know nothing. You just do your damn job. Um, uh, all right, so let's say you're, I'm going I'm to go with half a billion, sure. Um, so if, if that big of a company, you have uh, leadership, and the leadership doesn't need to be another fucking CEO, CFO, think they fucking owed everything, including a golden parachute when they get fired for not doing the job good enough. Anyway. Why did that, that ever became a thing? If you get fired, you get fired. You don't get fucking hundreds of millions of fucking dollars. What the fuck? So, so for the higher, higher end of it, the basically the orchestra organizing the top, the whole thing okay jesus i'm not able to think of words i'm getting tired i guess i realize yeah, um so you get four people who are in to that business that are actually passionate about it even just a little bit and extremely knowledgeable Passion is a big thing. When you buy something that actually has passion and you know anything about it, it's really wow. Wow. But when it's a cold piece of shit and you're just looking at it going, why the fuck did I even buy this? Was there anything better? Why isn't there something better? Why isn't there anything better? Because there's no fucking passion. Everything's become cold, heartless crap. But... <sighs> That being said, um, those four work on the passion. They are extremely knowledgeable. They know what they're talking about. They have the knowledge. Unlike a CEO who will sit here and listen to somebody tell them at, that has the knowledge, a CEO will just, yeah, we're not going to do that. It costs too much money disregarding everything you were just told by someone who is a lot smarter in that particular field is a pretty normal thing in large corporations, especially with Donald Trump. Does not listen to people smarter than him. Neither do the Republicans. And it seems to be fucking working, unfortunately. God help us. So... That being said, the disrespect of the Republican Party to the entire United States of America and the Declaration of Independence and the entire system, just fuck it. <laughs> but I'll finish what I'm saying anyway. Um, they, fuck. But then you got two people who do the financing and two people who do the balancing between the passion and the financing had knows about both decently well, well, fairly well, very, very well, because you can actually get people who can know more than two things, I guess, huh? We're screwed. Nobody's going to see this. We're just screwed. All right, nobody's going to look at my ugly face and want to watch this video. What am I thinking? Putting it out there, thinking it's going to end it over <laughs> uh, It's supposed to be out there forever. Who knows? YouTube may just say, eh, we're not going to do this. I don't know.